All right, everyone. Our first project for the year is going to be a photography project, and it's going to be a combination of drawing and photography. So I'm going to introduce you to two artists now. We looked at these artists last year, if you remember, but I'm just going to show you how their art that they create is similar and what makes it interesting. So this first artist, his name is Christoph Niemann, and he's an artist that creates work today. He uses drawing and photography to create his works of art. If you look at this work of art, what is something funny that you notice about this work of art? If you are noticing that this shoe right here is kind of funny, you are correct. So what um, this artist Christoph Niemann does is he takes everyday objects like shoes and he places them onto a piece of paper and he adds a drawing or a painting that interacts with that object to create a new work of art. Okay, so this might remind you of a poster of a movie Jaws. This is um, the shark supposed to be coming up from the water. Um, and here's the swimmer. So he's combining a real object, his, a real shoe, and a drawing. And he's taking a picture of the two together. So he's drawing and then he's taking a picture, which is photography. So let's look at a couple more of his works of art. Here's another one that I showed you last year. Um, if you if you can kind of tell what this object is, it's a little mosquito. Um, and here's how he created the mosquito. So he has these little headphones and he's balling them up and he's putting them on his white piece of paper. Um, he's, he's kind of moving the um, pieces of the headphones around. And then he's going to take his marker and he's gonna add some drawing to the outside. Um, this will make the um, object really come to life because he's adding the wings and the legs and the little blood coming out of the mouth here. So now he has his whole drawing set up and he's taking a picture of his drawing and his object together. Another one that he created was this one with the comb. So he found this comb and he thought, what could I turn that comb into? He placed it on his paper and then he just started drawing. He said, hmm, this kind of looks like the front of a car and the back of a car. So he added some details to really make this car come to life and then he took his picture. Couple more here, here's an orange that he placed on his paper and it kind of looks like the belly of a person, so he drew the rest of the person. Now, another artist who does something similar, his name is Javier Perez. He does the same type of work, um, but sometimes his hands will actually be in the photograph. So he had these toothpicks, and he thought, hmm, I could make these like drumsticks. So he drew the drums in the background on his paper, then he put his hands inside, and he had a friend take a picture of him using the toothpicks as the drum set. So the toothpicks, and the drum set drawing together look like a complete drum set. Um, he also created this work of art right here, and he just had two just everyday objects laying around, two little clothespins, and he thought, hmm, those kind of look like the um, claws of a crab, so I can put those down on my paper and add the rest of the drawing to make it an interesting drawing. So that's what we're gonna try and practice today. Um, you're gonna make two of these works of art. So at your um, table, you have a ton of everyday objects that you can choose from. Um, and the more simple they are, the easier this project will be. So I'm just going to choose some. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a sheet of paper. You're either going to need a really big sheet like this, or you're going to need a small one. It just depends on how big your object is. So for my work of art, I chose this as my everyday object. Looks kind of interesting to me. Um, I had to kind of move it around and play with it and see what it could look like, what it could turn into. And then I kind of just decided that it looked like a dress of a dancer. So I'm going to use this large sheet of paper and I'm just going to place it down. And then from there, I'll add the rest of my drawing. Um, I would like you to try and start with pencil and then outline it with marker so that it really shows up nice and dark and bold. Um, once I've got my object and my drawing together and they fit together really nicely and I've completed the picture, um, you're going to be using the iPads today to take photographs of your drawing and your um, object together. A worksheet at your table will help you see how to line up your iPad, crop the picture so that there's no table or background space, and then print the picture. So you're going to create three of these works of art today. So after I finish this one and I've taken the picture using my iPad, I'll get a new sheet of paper and then find some new objects. What could I turn these into? And then I'll create three works of art for this, okay?